What's up, nerds? We're back. Howdy. We are back. Today's video, strangers read people's darkest fantasies. We're gonna hear some weird stuff, I guess. Very weird. That's an oddly specific term, too. Fantasy? fantasy? Jubilee and Cut are just competing. Who can make the craziest <laughs> type of scenario video, video for everyone to react to? <laughs> Dark meaning, like, evil or, like, yeah. Sinister and evil and weird and sick. Why did Jubilee want to know that? I could have a fantasy of, oh, well, I, I want to be a, a basketball player. But a dark <laughs> fantasy. Your darkest basketball player who f***ing eats babies. <laughs> and it's other people reading other people's. Oh, so we don't know the person who wrote that. No. That makes sense, because someone's dark <laughs> fantasy would be like, I want to kill everybody in the thing. Get this guy whoever said that. I'm scared of myself because I fantasize about hurting and torturing people and potentially ending their life on a daily basis. I'm scared that someday I will snap and actually end up doing it. Now, now, who sent in that? So whoever sent that in, Jubilee email team reading it, um, copies and pastes it on the, to the thing. Send that to the feds, baby. I'm sorry. Got your next crazy person right here. Block him up. Is it anonymous? I guess it has to be. Who wrote, who wrote this? Who wrote this one? Who? How are you gonna start off with that? I had a secret feeling with an ex-employee, but I fantasized about his son. Whoa. I'd regularly take them both out for dinner so that I could fantasize more vividly. Each time I go to bed, I talk to the pillow for half an hour as if it were a man. However, even in my fantasy, we end up fighting. It's difficult for me to imagine someone being in love with me. I want to say that was the weirdest one so far. Yeah. Talking to a pillow That's and fighting with the pillow. Stupid. You're stupid. No, I didn't do it. Yeah, brother. Uh, uh, maybe it's difficult for me to imagine me in love with someone. Yeah, I can see that. If um, you are agreeing with your pillow, talking to it at night, I can see why you think no one would love you. Hot take, though. I don't know. You're that, talking to yourself. That's more of a weird fantasy, Wait, let me think about dark that. one. Talking to it like it's a boyfriend or something? Yeah. What do you mean? No, it wasn't. I was not texting them, and they really just sit here for yeah. 30 minutes. And then they get into a fight. Stop! No, that's not what I said. If you stop talking over me, then I would be able to get a word out. <laughs> exactly. Let me get a word out! That's something that, like, I think about all the time, or, like, every day, I think. Why would anyone want to love someone who feels this boring, or, like, someone who, like, lacks a personality? Very, very... Relatable. That part though, not the pillow. Not the pillow. I fantasize about being a heroic figure in my sister's life and stand up for her when her husband beats her ass. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. Sorry. We'll call the cops and you can be the hero. Why are you letting it keep happening? So your Thank sister's you. saying, hey, you keep beating me up. Oh, I wish I could do something. I want to be a hero. I fantasize about helping, but I fantasize it's just a fantasy. Yo! Saved your last night in my fantasy though. He just hit me again! <laughs> what I would do to save you. Wait, let me think about it. Oh, it felt good. Oh, man. Let me just send this to Jubilee. They'll do something <laughs> about it. <laughs> that one doesn't make any sense. Why do you have random people reading this and it's like kind of ruining their day or putting <laughs> a damper on their day? Y'all got another one I can read or what the f Y'all got any more lighthearted yep. ones? That's oh. not a fantasy. This guy is really wrong. Um, who said this? Because we could we could fix this <laughs> right now. This, this one doesn't have to be anonymous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if anyone knows, we could go to the police with this and they can investigate the domestic abuse. I'm trying to help people here. Jubilee like, uh, it's anonymous. It's Sorry. anonymous. Sorry, keep watching. You want to be able to say something, but you feel like you don't have a voice, especially when the person is somebody that you love on both sides. But I think the best thing to do is speak up. Mm -hmm. I fantasize about having cancer like the bald kid in my class has so that my mother would care for me and let me hug her. What the f That's a dark fantasy. And it gets deep. Like that one is sure. just so your mom could take care of you and let me your, hug her. Your mom's not letting you even hug her? That sucks. Oh, I guess the mom doesn't even care about their child. It's sad, yeah. But he's like, if that'd be the only way. Damn, brother, I would not, I would not suggest getting cancer, though. Yeah. Maybe not the cancer part. That's Damn. some heavy shit. Damn. That's okay. heavy. Guy said, may read it. Because there is other ways, right? Like There's, there's got to be another way to there's get There's another way to get your mom to love you. Has this person tried, hey, mom, I've been feeling really neglected in our relationship, and I want 
Mm-hmm. You to love me. Probably not. I'm assuming they haven't had the conversation yet. They're scared to speak up when it's somebody you love, I guess. But it's like if you want her to care for you and hug you, show her that. Let tell her, right? Yeah, like communicate that maybe. I don't bring the cancer. At least you're not talking to a pillow. I, I mean. fantasize about things like death because I enjoy the feeling of someone actually warring for me. I feel very guilty because I understand that other people endure this stuff unwillingly and it must be horrible. <laughs> I kind of says about that stuff so I can feel like people care about me want me or something. Or want me? They want to be like the subject of something, so they, they attention wanna, or something. Do you fantasize about doing that or that happening to you? Yeah, being subjected to it. Because if you're per- trying to perpetrate these things, this person as well, Jubilee. <laughs> Jubilee, what? Can you check these? the IP address Was this on, on this email? <laughs> <laughs> can't just read about it all day. Do something. Reading all these terrible things. I'm gonna kill someone. Jubilee over there. Damn, we got a lot of submissions. We gotta do part two, part three. When there's like actual problems, like yeah. people premeditating. You have to be crazy to type that up and be like, yeah, I want to read that. The editor typing all that. Here we go. Another one. Dude, that one was short, so we're gonna add on to it. This is different. Darkest oh, secret. People's reading darkest secrets. Oh shit. Yeah, so these aren't fantasies now. Okay, I don't know about this yeah, too. Damn. Murdered a man. But it's like, well, he's anonymous. So. <laughs> Jubilee! <laughs> and then the people are there to just read it and say if they say their piece. I dismembered his body and threw it in the lake. <laughs> um, can you check who sent this one in? <laughs> my biggest regret is saying I wouldn't cry if my mom died. She was given two years to live if her health continued the way it was going. And I was too much of an angsty, self centered teenager to worry about anyone but myself. What the f- is wrong with you? I think that speaks for itself. That's just weird. My whole life, I've been made to feel like I was undeserving of love. Okay, this is this is, this is a Debbie uh, Downer. Both from myself and others, and I'm afraid that part of me believes them. Okay. Uh, All right. uh, this might not. Be. Uh, who don't I just like almost done. There's the funny dark scene. Yeah, I'm Jubilee. Hey guys, this is Jason from Jubilee here. Thank you so much for watching that video. Bruh. Jason, Jason. All right, those are some, that was uh Well, the first guy needs to get locked up. He fantasized about torturing and killing people. It's crazy because there's people actually, you know, that think that way. And these are only like a handful of little submissions. Yeah, you never really know what anybody's thinking or intentions are. You could assume there's a whole bunch of people talking to their pillows at night. Mm-hmm. Damn. There are some good messages in there. Some deep stuff. Saying like, yo, like speak up. Love is the answer. Love is the answer. Love and live and serve. Love, live and serve. That's it. Bye. Bye.